Meng Meng and Zhao Jing, possibly China's most famous export to Germany, exploring their new home. Their enclosure has been furnished with Chinese-style pavilions, lanterns and a mountain landscape in recognition of their roots. On loan from China for 15 years, they'll cost more than a million dollars a year. Our economic relations are very strong, but uh, the people's uh, feeling, uh, particularly for Germans' perceptions towards Chinese, most negative, very strange. So we need to improve the people-people uh, -people bond. And, uh, Panda is the uh, Chinese, very typical, unique ambassador. China used to give away giant pandas as gifts, a soft power strategy to improve relations. A strategy so widely employed, there was even a term for it, panda diplomacy. In 2007, that stopped. China now rents them out to zoos worldwide for breeding and research. But according to recent studies, China's panda loans also coincided with trade deals. A panda exchange with Edinburgh Zoo was quickly followed by agreements for salmon exports and renewable technology. In Canada, France and Australia, trade deals for uranium were struck. So what can Germany expect? Our economic relation was for a rather long time based on trade. Now we see more that it's based not just on trade but also on investments and on, uh, cooperation in the R&D field. And we think we could do a lot more in the field of innovation and in the field of future technologies. The giant panda has many fans worldwide and it's proved to be a powerful symbol of China's goodwill. But as the world's second largest economy, China's also increasingly using trade and investment to gain international influence.